you know, so much of the scientific effort is wasted and spent up. The sort of resources are unbelievable that is consumed on revising and focused on every little detail of the sort of revision process. And I would say the majority of scientific effort is is focused on revising and getting the story right, focused on attracting the right reviewers. It's not, we often have this sort of view of the scientific effort that, and this is what's taught in school and it's just patently wrong, that you follow the scientific method where this is what you do, right? So you come up with a, a proposition, Sure, you, you study the literature, come up with a proposition, a hypothesis, you test that hypothesis with real data, and then um, you present those results, and then you carry on and go on to something else. That's not what happens, right? So what ends up happening is you read the literature, test your result, gather the data, and then you analyze quite a bit of analyze. And then when you present your results, inevitably almost everybody's gonna tell you that it's wrong. And the process that we should be focusing on is more on influence and getting people to come up with convincing stories on the back end. It is all about the sort of presentation of things rather than the front end that much of us, that we spend so much time in, uh, you know, in, in sort of the primary and second secondary schools on teaching, and that is not the problem. That's actually not the scientific effort. The scientific effort is more about influence, it is more about convincing, it is more about storytelling than anything else. So, there's that component, right? That's what I want to say. But the other critical thing to think about is that there's a lot of wasted resources in this effort. And the reason why I was just thinking about that this morning, and I think I have a bit of a breakthrough, is that I think that the wasted resources have to come down to poor instructions. And those poor instructions come down to what is being asked of you. It's the, so, so there's this, you know, mission creep, I guess, that is, is, is talked about within software programming or, um, you know, just having bad specifications where if you are given bad specifications on what you could do, you don't really know what to do and people don't understand what you're gonna do. Right. And then they end up um, with programming or any other project. You spend a great deal of time trying to figure out, OK, what do I do here? What's next? What is the process? I don't understand this. And then you you go through many iterations to actually get to where you're going to go. And even still, it's not what the other people, the, the, the people sort of assessing your project are, are wanting. Um, and so the same thing, the bulk of it actually has to do with that with um, the bulk of sort of wasted resources is on the reviewing side um, where there's poor instruction in what to do. People don't know what to do and they don't know whether you, if you actually completed it, if um, you know, it's, it's up to the standard of what they were expecting, right? So I was thinking about that this morning of, okay, how do we, make better instruction and that's the fundamental thing and the reason why people don't give good instructions for or reviewers don't give good instructions is they don't have the time they don't want to put in the effort and i was thinking about that um, with the reciprocity platform i mean this stuff is easy to program into it's a very simple thing to think about okay well why don't we just have clear instructions on what to do next? And if you did these clear instructions, right, if you actually accomplish those things, 
and it was like almost like a contract where you checked box. So, you know, for example, you might have a list. So a reviewer gives you a list of things to do. And if you actually accomplish those things with sort of a checkbox kind of thing, and you come back with that, then um, reviewers would have a hard time arguing, or you would have a hard time arguing with this, where you literally just checkbox what you actually did, right? And I think that's what often happens is that because of the poor infrastructure that we have, um, nobody really knows what to do, right? So the normal review is you've got X, Y, and Z problems, fix it. Um, and instead, what should be done and how a good review should be structured is you've got X, Y, and Z problems. This is These are two paths, or this is one path that I would suggest for you to do. And if you accomplish this path, then I would be okay with it. In that response, that sort of review is not done. You might, if you're lucky, you might get one person in three that would actually do that. Most of it's just kind of hand wavy stuff where somebody just says, I don't like what you're doing. And then you don't know exactly what to do. You have to anticipate and understand, try to figure out what they're doing. But I think we can change that, right? Like I think on the reciprocity platform, like why don't I just program that in? And then people can understand, have a better idea and what to do next, right? Like I think it's kind of insane that we have this sort of open-ended structure in terms of what to do next. And that's part of where it is, right? Like that's if you simply have a contractual obligation and you check box off those contractual obligations of what you did, I mean, that should be good enough, right? I think that should ultimately be the, the end all and be all, but we don't, right? So what ends up happening is that I will write a paper, I'll send it in for review, I'll get that back, and then I end up spending, I will write often, um, more responding to the reviewers than I actually do with writing the paper itself. And that is normal. That is, that is, that's actually part of the process. And that makes no sense to me, right? Like, why would we spend so much effort doing that kind of stuff when nobody's ever going to see this? It's not clear. I mean, I think we can change this. This is the thing that's so frustrating. And yet nobody's willing to change it. Um, you know, nobody is saying, hey, let's let's change this. Let's, let's try to make a difference here. And it's fundamentally, I think it's because, A, there's no institutional desire to change this. There's the incentives that people have um, with the current system and they're you know, they're happy with that current system. But on the other side is that, you know, other than the reciprocity project, I don't know who else is sort of lobbying for this and actually making a difference, like actually changing things. Um, and I, I wish I would have more help, more support, um, I wish people would step up, but that's, you know, that's not the reality of what things are. And I will just continue to, to plug forward and make these changes and make it better until it actually, you know, really is helpful. Because I think, like, man, it's nuts. It's just nuts. Uh, when, I, when I think about this, the wasted effort that is done, and we think that, hey, Research is just writing a paper and that's all you have to do. That's not the story at all. That is not my experience. This is why papers take 10 years, is that we have all of these wasted resources going to review after review after review and trying to figure out what are they what are they saying here? Does does it make sense? Like a lot of times what reviewers, you know, half the time, 
reviewers will write something and it will make a lot of sense and it will be clear, right? And I will get it. But then there's another half of the time where it's like, I don't even know what they're trying to say. I don't even know what they're trying to get at. And and then you're trying to scramble, okay, what are we actually getting at here? And And then I'm thinking to myself, you know, why are we doing this, right? Like, why do we spend so much time doing this when there's clearly a better way and how to actually get this accomplished? All right, um, help me join. Join the Reciprocity Project too. Well, you can do Pass On. Um, you know, if you want to sponsor it somehow, give me a shout. I'm always available. All right, take care. Bye.